before we get in the video, I have a really easy giveaway going on. Uh, I'm giving away one of these. So if you want a chance at winning this, I'll put a link in the description and up at the top. Go check it out. Enter. Super easy. Anyway, on to the video. Hey everyone, Richard here, and it's time for a comic haul. I'm pretty overdue for one, and I have a decent stack of stuff to show. Um, so let's just get into it. Uh, these first two are some store variants. I don't buy very many store variants, um, but these ones just stuck out to me. Uh, Gwenum vs. Carnage, number one, the uh, Inhit Lee variant. Just a really, really nice looking cover uh, that I couldn't pass up on, so glad I picked them up. They've actually gone up in value a little bit since I got them, so that's always nice to see. Uh, but yeah, got those. Uh, so these next two books are done by an artist I'm very familiar with, someone I've worked with in the past, Vic Collins. Uh, she recently put out her own, her second, I guess, self-published uh, story. Uh, it's personalized to me and signed. Um, but she's also been starting to do some work for IDW. She put out this 1 in 10 variant. Uh, amazing person. I suggest you watch her. Uh, look for her stuff. She has a G.I. Joe variant out right now as well. Um, she actually did the art on the comic that I put out probably a couple years ago now. So, yeah. Very cool. Um, always glad to support Vic. Alright, next stack. With this stack, a little shout out to Mr. Rigor Mortis. He had mentioned an online shop, uh, the name of which escapes me right now. I want to say it was J for Lisa, maybe? Um, but it was an online shop and he gave a little discount code for it. So I picked up a few things from it. Uh, first is this Spawn book. Um, paid less than $2 for it after the discount. So nice little virgin variant. I got this. Uh, this is actually signed by Adam Hughes right down here. So, real nice. Got a little certificate of authenticity on it. Um, yeah. Picked up the Occupy Avengers variant purely because it has Kate Bishop on it. Um, this was also like $2. And the last one I got for $7. Nice near mint copy of Buffy Vampire Slayer number 20, the J. Scott Campbell variant. Some old J. Scott Campbell. But yeah, picked all those up from that online shop. Uh, really, really good deals. Uh, I suggest go digging through Riggs' videos if you want to find it, because he does a way better job of showing it off. Um, but yeah, there's those. Alright, so this next little stack is actually from my comic shop. Uh, about once a year, I pull out all my sort of leftovers from collection buys, stuff that's really not worth anything. Um, not worth selling, and I end up sending it all off to my comic shop for credit. Um, I didn't send very much this time, but I did manage to get a few books. Uh, so first one is BPRD, The Dead Remembered. This is the 1 in 5 variant, I believe. Um, it's just a low print run book. I think it's in the neighborhood of 2500 print. Um, so yeah. All of these were 2 to $5.00. No. All these were about $2, except for the last one. This next one was $2.40. Uh, Hella Risen number three. It's the third printing. Uh, I never actually had the chance to look at this in person, so I just grabbed it purely for that. Uh, I'm sure you guys recognize this book. This one I got for $2, which was pretty surprising to me. Uh, Wild Storm number one, the foil convention variant. Um, one thing about my comic shop is they often list variants way undervalued, um, as you'll see with the next couple. Because I got this one for $2 from my comic shop. This is the 1 in 3000 virgin variant. Uh, I believe it's, uh, I can't remember, Darkest Night Metal something or other. I, I didn't really read the series, but the, the artwork had to get it. And they also had the 1 in 1000 variant for it. Again, $2. So, very happy about those. Um, they're definitely worth a lot more than $2. Uh, the last book I got from my comic shop, I paid $15, but this was all trade credit. Uh, Katie Keen, number 56. Just some classic good girl art. Uh, not necessarily a scarce book, but a book to find, hard to find in decent shape. So, 
yeah. Got all those. All right, so the rest of these books all came from a local shop, a shop I hadn't checked in a very long time, and I decided to go check them out. Uh, I rated their dollar, two dollar, and five dollar bins, and I found some really good stuff. So uh, in their dollar bins, I didn't find a whole lot, but I, I grabbed a few things. I grabbed this Tomb Raider Free Comic Book Day simply because I've been trying to get up more Tomb Raider stuff. I really enjoy it, so got that. Got a Gotham Academy number one. Again, for a dollar, I'll take it any day. And then the big one I got from uh, their dollar bin was Archie Comics, Betty and Veronica number 262. Uh, like a $50 book in this condition, so very nice to get that for a dollar. I still haven't found 261, but I'll definitely take this one. And then in their $2 bins, I found some good stuff. Uh, I got Supergirl number one. I believe this is the third print. Yeah, third print. I uh, picked up purely because it's the homage variant to 252. And yeah, really nice looking book. Found this for $2 as well. Eagle number six. Uh, for those who don't know, this is Adam Hughes' first published work, I believe. Um, give me a second, I'll actually show you the pinup in it that he did. All right, so very nice copy, and here's the Adam Hughes pinup. Uh, like I said, his first published work. And yeah, wraparound cover, but get that for two bucks any day. All right, next book, uh, I picked up this for again, two dollars. I Zombie number one. Um, not her first appearance, but her first solo series. Uh, she had a TV show that went on for several seasons. I uh, actually enjoyed quite a bit, so glad to just get this added to the PC. Yeah. And these last three books, um, I grabbed them purely because they were cheap, and you don't see them very like you don't see these books very often. And they're bikini covers. Uh, Betty Veronica, two oh nine. Got three of them, two bucks each, like I said. Uh, it's from that era where print's really low. I think the print of this is around 2500 uh, maybe 2553 if I remember correctly. It's been a few days since I looked at it. Um, but every any time I'll fi I find these, I guess, good girl type covers from this era, I pick them up because they always end up being hot. So, yeah. All right, and this last stack came from the $5 bins. Uh, first one is Red Wolf number one. Uh, picked it up to add to my framed cover collection. Um, black cover, so hard to get in good shape. This one's probably about a five or a six. Uh, so for five bucks, I will take it. Next book, Star Slayer number two. Um, unfortunate that this is the cover. This is the first appearance of the Rocketeer. Uh, give me a minute, and I'll show you the, the back cover. All right, so here's the back cover. Good old Rocketeer. Uh, this is probably about a seven, if I already guessed grade-wise. Uh, there's a like five or six page Rocketeer story in the back. But yeah, first appearance of Rocketeer. Again, five bucks for that. I'll take it. All right, so this last book, uh, I'm going to say it's a personal grail to me. I've been looking for a copy of this book since 2016 when it came out. Uh, it originally dropped in a nerd block box, I believe, that was limited to 3,000. And it sold out within about an hour. Uh, this is Dungeons and Dragons Shadows of the Vampire Part 1, the Geek and Sundry Critical Role variant. Uh, this is the first printed appearance of the Critical Role characters. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, they're taking Storm River. They got Todd McF or they got McFarland toys, they got Funko Pops, getting an animated series on Amazon. Uh, yeah, I think they have one of the highest, if not the highest, funded Kickstarter in animation ever. So, big deal. Um, very, very hard to find book. And I found three of them. So I'm super, super happy to finally have this limited to 3,000. And yeah, their first appearance. They're only on the cover of this. Um, they make a interior cameo appearance in Rat Queens number 16 from volume 1, which is the final issue that book goes for a little bit also. Uh, and now they have their own several series under Dark Horse, so just a, a property to be watching. Um, I don't think I'll get rid of any of these, honestly, just how hard they are to find. And prices are kind of 
you can ask what you want for them. They always sell. Um, and a lot of times they sell for cheaper than I think they should. So, yeah. A little grail find for me, staying in the PC. Um, I'll pick this book up anytime I see it. Especially when there's only 3,000 and there's... for they, they do live shows on Twitch and their concurrent viewers are usually around 60,000. So, yeah. Kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, that's my haul. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, who knows when my next one will be. It's just kind of a matter of me finding stuff and then wanting to show it. Uh, this one was long overdue. But yeah, um, hope you all enjoyed and take care everyone.